What's going on, everybody? So this is a conversation I had with Josh Hudson a couple months ago, around the time I began to really wake up spiritually and to this reality that we're in with everything going on in the world right now, which is a little crazy. So he he really illuminated some things that I discovered when I re when I rewatched this video. So I hope you all enjoy it. It's a nice chat. Peace. I have a lot of thoughts about kids and dogs. It's there's an innocence there, right? Yeah, and just ple- a presence and a playfulness <clears throat> and like they're just and consciousness awe, and, on, and honest of life. Like everything's awesome. Yeah. Like, anything's possible, right? And yeah. Yeah, I don't know about you, but have you listened to much of Alan Watts? You know, I'm, I don't think you know I'm a huge fan of him. He talks about how like this, the essence of all life is basically play. Mm. You know, like um, I think his most famous quote of all time is like, the real secret to life is be so engaged with the present moment and instead of calling it work, realize it's just play. And mm. I, think I, I think I got that actually perfectly right. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, man, I think that's why we're here. Like, I think we're supposed, to, we're supposed to see life as a giant game. Like business is a game to win. Like love is a game to win. Like, that's how I view it. And um, you, you just, when you have that kind of perception on life, it's like you take things less seriously. I've been thinking about the matrix of like Sasha talks a lot about waking up and stuff and just realizing that we're all spirits in this, these human bodies and we're all playing these games. Like you and I are playing this quitting porn game and you're a therapist and dating coach and all this stuff. And it's like, you don't have to be that stuff, but it, it it just makes you happy this person in this body in this planet and like yeah why the fuck wouldn't you want to do the shit that makes you happy but there's so many people that are just not conscious and they're just victims to the internet or porn or just whoever they're raised by all this social conditioning is just is like we're all kids and we all know this stuff and then we're taught by a society to be a certain way and want to be successful and want to get women or be obsessed with sex and it's just uh yeah peeling back the layers it feels like to get back to who you were as a kid like and who that consciousness was yeah man it's uh and so i've been exploring this kind of idea a lot lately and one of the main reasons why most people live a life in mediocrity is fear obviously right but if we if we take that a step further it's like fear of what like what are people truly afraid of luke fear of criticism i think a lot of people are afraid of so yeah, if we if we follow that ra- if we follow that rabbit hole down like if you get criticized if you get criticized by people what that means you're going to be what from people you're going to be you're not good enough you don't fit in right and and so you don't fit in fit in right so that's like fit yeah. into like the the group the tribe the yeah right and you're going to be isolated right yeah and then when you're isolated historically if like we're in a tribe together and we like band you from the tribe what, what's most likely going to happen to you going to die you're going to die you're going to fucked die. every fear leads to mm, a fear fear yeah. of death death right every fear right I, I don't losing your job breaking up in a relationship being socially excluded like being everything right so the thing about like sasha and, and people who go become spiritual and they kind of re- re- look at these practices of being like in a 3d body where just we're actually spirits um is that death isn't like absolute And a lot of people have these experiences on psychedelics. And when you have that profound experience that like, oh, when I die, I'm not like, yeah, Josh is going to die or Luke is going to die or Sasha is going to die. Like that ego, right? The person, that therapist, but like my essence of who I am, my my consciousness, my, my experience is not going to die. I'm going to just be transformed into another life. Like that, that frees you up to go past that fear in this current life. You see how that works? Mm. And that's how I, that's how, how I quit my job, went to Japan, did this psychedelic experience, and then finally jumped in all in with Pinnacle Man because I thought the worst thing that could happen is I lose all my money and I have to get another job. Best thing that could happen, I live my dream. So it's like someone listening right now and like, what's stopping you, you know, like truly. So that was my pal Josh. We referenced Sasha a few times. That's Sasha Day Game. And I plan on interviewing him at some point too. So look out for that. Yeah, just been exploring the idea of kids and playfulness and being in awe of life and having love and gratitude for being alive and just getting back to that playfulness as a kid. That inner child that we all have to heal inside of us is there. And it's coming for all of us to heal. So... 
exciting stuff, guys, and I'm getting there too. And it's really exciting being alive right now, even though there's a lot of crazy shit going on. It's for the better of humanity. So if you enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe, and all that YouTube shit that people say at the end of their videos. Go check out Josh, Sasha, Alan Watts, my stuff, whoever, whatever you want to do with your life. Do something that raises your vibes because it helps everybody and it helps you especially. So love you all. Take care. Until next time. Peace.